you find an abandoned FPS game on an old computer. Out of curiosity, you decide to play it. Opening the game shows you a list of servers, all of them empty. Joining the first one puts you in a game of Capture the Flag. You explore the map and see how truly empty it is. Usually in these FPS games you hear bullets flying, explosions, but in this one you hear nothing, except for the ambience noise in the background. While exploring the map, you find the enemy flag, and you pick it up. This game is easy. All you have to do is walk back to your flag and you get the point. No enemies, no other players, you're alone. Where are you? This game that seems like a normal FPS project on the surface actually has a way darker and more sinister purpose. What starts off as a simple game goes into phone calls, Morse code, secret files, secret inputs, and even a real life hunt for a final clue to solve it all. Welcome to my exploration of No Players Online. Hello gorgeous people, what is going on, and welcome back to another video. The game No Players Online was originally published to the website itch.io on November 5th of 2019. This was actually one of the first indie horror games I ever played back when I started on Twitch in 2021. The game's premise is simple. You find an old, unfinished FPS game of Capture the Flag on an old computer. And when you start it up, you are the only one playing it. That's until this creepy shadow figure starts haunting you. But what is this shadow figure? Why is it here? And what does it want? This game takes around 15 minutes to beat. And in those 15 minutes, you can get two endings that are pretty satisfying. And with that, you could just move on to the next game. Except there's actually a third ending, one that I didn't even know about until very recently. One that's hidden under making the right decisions, codes, puzzles, and even things you have to do in a separate game. In today's video, we're gonna play through the entire game, try to get all of the endings, and try to find out the true meaning and story behind all of this. So here we go, let's get started. Chapter, Chapter one, the first loop. Here we go. Making this video has been on my mind for a few weeks now, so I'm very, very excited. MS Boss. Operating system, loading cartridge. Alright, so we got a server list. They seem to be all capture the flag. Official servers, clan DE, mods, free skins. Nice, we got a free skins server we could jump into. Sadly, that one is offline. I guess we'll just go into the first one, jump in here. Also, all of them say zero players. So I'm the only dude on this game. Score is zero of three. Looks like we're the blue team. And the game is looking for players. All right, so I got a working gun. See, it's so interesting because usually in like an FPS game, you're never like alone. So you never get this complete silence. You're always hearing gunshots or something exploding. Let's just take a look around here first. Okay, I can run. That's nice. So this is like a mid area. It's honestly nothing really notable. Nothing to interact with. Where's my mini map? I guess when this game came out, mini-maps weren't a thing yet. Oh, you hold on. You can run through this area, too. Oh, this is just a little dead end. I can't fall into the hole. 
which is nice. I'll take that. I'm guessing red flag is, yep, right there. I think that's red. I'm colorblind, so take that with a grain of salt. Okay, I'm pretty sure the environment just got darker. And I'm hearing music now. I feel like the game really did not like that. The vibe just got way creep. Okay. The chills I just got from seeing that is... Okay, I'm not liking this feeling I'm having right now. <laughs> All right, let's catch this flag. Maybe the vibe will get better if we score a point. Okay, I got a little cheery sound effect, but the vibe is still the same. I'm guessing I got to go do that two more times now. Okay. That red glowing light was not there and now it's gone again what was causing that light all right let's just grab the flag here okay someone joined the game uxj h l and sign i'm guessing they're on the other team so i might actually have someone to shoot now hello Ooh! I'm kind of good off of all of this now. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, let's- we're about to- Was that gate open before? Okay, I can't move. Come on. I really didn't like that. My gun was loaded, but I, I couldn't shoot it. Okay, one more point. One more point, then I win. One more point, then I win. Uh, UXHJL, whatever your name is. I think you're a hacker, and I think you're cheating. I'm getting this flag, buddy. Okay, I think these gates might have always been open because that one's open again. Okay. All I gotta do is get this back to my flag and then we win. And we can finally leave and I'll be satisfied. Come on, come on. John Dev has joined a spectator. Stop what you're doing. Do not move another step. Whatever you do, do not deliver that flag. How'd you even get access to this game? Can you hear me? Well, no, I can't hear you, but I, I can read you. If you can read this, then press Y to chat and say something. Um, I'm pressing Y, but nothing's happening. Wait, never mind. I don't think you can even have chat permission on this server. Just shoot twice if you can read this. Okay, so you can read this. So let me explain. If you deliver that last flag, the servers will shut down. I absolutely cannot let that happen. I've been working on this project for more than 11 years. I can, can't let you jeopardize all of my work. This may look like a simple FPS game to you. This game has the power to raise the dead. 
At least that's what it is supposed to do. It's still a work in progress, as you can probably tell. I'm making this so I can see my wife again. But she seems to be stuck in a sort of limbo. You probably already met her. That was your wife? Why is she so creepy? She might come over a bit aggressive, but she's just scared and confused. Can you blame her? You destroyed the record player with her favorite music. I used that music to keep her calm. Oh. If you deliver that last flag, her soul will be set free. But I know I can save her and bring her back. Please press escape and shut down the game. Please. So I'm generally getting like an option here. Morally, I do not agree. Let the dead rest. Clearly, with the way your wife looks, it's not looking like she wants to be here. No, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. Do not deliver that flag. Stop what you're doing. Go back. Sorry, bro. Kicked from server. Connection to host lost. I think I have to escape. Chapter 2 The Second Loop I want to start off the game again. Let's see if anything has changed. Now, even though we restarted the game, it's impossible to replay it, I guess, because the server list is just not functioning. Except you have to look through the update notes on this game. So shortly after No Players Online came out, there was a small update. The update reads, the dusty VHS just got a little less dusty. This update includes a Linux build for all your penguin folk, a way to reset your save if you want to see the other endings, hint, a combination of keys that sound like Konami, and bug fixes. For those of you that don't know, the Konami code is a cheat code that Konami uses in most of their games. And the code is the same every single time. Okay, so the code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. <laughs> okay. So obviously we know that there's other endings just based on that update. I'm guessing the only way you could get another ending would be if you just escaped and left the game when he says to. But I'm curious if something also happens because now we reloaded these servers. Does the game recognize that we're replaying it again and maybe something different will happen? I guess we'll just have to find out. Let's join the server. Most of this playthrough was exactly the same, but I will show you some things that were different. Okay, you can hear the music is playing. I'm not gonna shoot it this time, just to see if anything different does actually happen. Behind you. Hello, John's wife, now that I know who you are. I've been able to keep her relatively calm by playing her favorite music. Ah, so there's like a slight dialogue change with the music thing. Please press escape and shut down the game, please. Everything seems exactly the same. The dialogue was pretty much the same. This is the same. So I am just going to hit escape and leave. Okay, that's pretty simple. Would he recognize if I joined back? Someone's got to fix this gun, man. This thing always runs out of ammo. Why are you here again? It is different. Please just leave us alone. Oh, he joined the game this time. Is he gonna come for me? Okay, now it looks like we have the same choice to either drop the flag off or not, but I want to look around the map and see if he's here somewhere. What the hell is that? There's something floating in the air over there. Hold up. Oh, yep. There it is. Is that an eye? Is that you, John?
Wait, it was something and then enter. Were those arrows? Oh, no, I gotta go back and look through that. Okay, so I just took a look at the footage again, and it looks like it goes up, 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 down, down, and then looks like an old school enter key or like the symbol people use for enter. So. Didn't work. But there is something different because I don't remember that symbol at the top there. The two arrows and the zero or the O in between. After that, I started to do some research on what that secret code meant because I didn't think it actually did anything until I noticed this. There's no way. Log test date 121287. So December 12th, 1987. Warning, enable tracking, reestablishing connection to server, underscore, deleting SRH dot CH, resetting progress, dump, end, exception, dead end, 25467. Chapter. Chapter 3. John Mullard. Now, to be honest, I can't really tell you what anything in that file means. And I had no idea how to progress further in this until I checked the updates again. On November 11th, 2019, there was an update called Complete Save File. I had friends complaining that they run out of bullets too fast and can't finish the game. I attached the save file to this post if you'd like to see all of the content. To use it, download the file in the attached post below. Burn it into a disk and read it from your BMOS terminal using the read command. Poke the following memory address to load the file. 25467. Now that number is interesting because it's actually the same number from the file we just took a look at. And the whole thing about running out of bullets is very important, but not right now. We will come back to that later. The most important part of this update is the save file included with it. 100% save file dot sav. When you download the file, you can open it, but you get a bunch of this. Okay, so this is it. Um, I actually don't know what a SAV file is. So let's just open it in Notepad. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm seeing the word photo. Oh, wait, can I open this in Photoshop? Eleven fifteen nineteen, And there's a lamppost. And the date on that photo is super important because that's when the next update for the game came out. Now this update talks a lot about fixing the multiplayer and fixing servers and all stuff like that, but the important part is this part here. Since the netcode isn't mine, I advise to give the networking dev of the old game an email if you encounter any issues. I was able to retrieve it from the old Enuit site using the Wayback Machine. John.Mullard at Yahoo.com you may recognize that name in the email, and that's because it's the same dev that contacted us while we were playing the game. So obviously, I tried to send a message to this email, but it didn't work. But if you did send an email to this address a few years ago when this game first dropped, you'd actually receive a response. Due to personal grievances, I am out of office from 331-1975 to 602-1975. Regards, John Mullard, Lead Networking Engineer, NU at LTD, NU at LTDgames.com, personal website, johnmullard.itch.io. Now that first website that he refers to doesn't work for me, and I even tried putting it in the Wayback Machine because one of the updates said something about it, but still couldn't find anything on it. But you may notice the second website is a little familiar, itch.io. And this is John Mullard's personal website with his personal games, I guess. And here's what you see when you go to that website. He has one game and it's called I and the description is walk with the dog and the cover image is the same image from the complete save file. So now we're finally getting somewhere. We have a new game to explore. So let's see what other secrets it tells us. I actually can't even begin to tell you what this is. That looks like some kind of door. Let's launch the game and see what happens here. Okay, well, this looks like the door that is on the cover image for the game. This is a totally different style from No Players Online. All right, so we, we see the lamp. This is literally the exact image that we saw. And it seems I'm walking my dog. I hear my dog, but I don't see him. 
I don't think I could do anything other than walk around. Okay, we got another house here. Doesn't seem I could access it. Blocked off by this path. How is this gonna connect to no players online right now? I mean, John Mullard is clearly a game dev. We gotta give him credit for the different style. Okay, the vibe just went down a lot. Is my dog in the water? Did the game glitch? Is my dog actually supposed to be like closer to me than he is? <laughs> Get a little boat here. I love the style of this man. I just realized the symbol is probably supposed to be an eye. That transition was wild. Three twenty nineteen seventy five. Blue and sentiment, Al. My dreams are blue dreams. Just won't come true dreams. Blue dreams I find. What is this footage? Blue and sentiment, Al. I can't forget you. My heart won't let you out of my mind. It rains all the time since you said goodbye. The skies in my eyes, in my heart, all cry. Blue and sentiment, Al, if you don't want me. Why do you blank me? What is that word supposed to be? And keep me feeling blue and sentimental. I just realized I've been saying sentimental. It's, it's sentimental. I don't know why I didn't put that together. It rains all the time since you said goodbye. What are we looking at? What is this background footage? Well, the skies in my eyes, in my heart, all cry. Blue and sentimental if you don't want me. Why do you blank me and keep me fault feeling? Blue and sentimental. Yes, sentimental. Bro, what just happened? Now, this is where this starts to get pretty insane. A lot of the text on there seems very confusing and it's like, what the hell is being said here? But turns out if you search up some of the things that were said on the text there, you find a song called Blue and Sentimental. And when you look at a list of the lyrics, you could actually see which word was missing from the video we watched. And the word that was missing is haunt. So with really no other direction on what to do, there's only one place to go. Back to no players online. Chapter. Chapter four. The dungeon. Yes. Yes, yes. All right, I think I just hit my desk so hard that my mixer unplugged by accident. Sound test, 1,389 sounds loaded on disk. Enter memory address to test sound file. Is it the date? 
All right, what if we enter all of these dates? Okay, so it's only it's only five digits. I was kind of just typing in random codes to see what would happen, but. Eventually, I attempted to put in all the dates that we've gotten so far, none of them worked, and then I remembered the number that we saw twice, the one in the file, and the one on the update notes, so I tried that. Two, five. <laughs> Removed mesh, number 345 collision. Might possibly know what that means? Not 100% sure though. Now, I know collision in games is usually when you like walk into a wall and it stops you from going through the wall. That's collision. So, for example, this would be collision. The fact that I'm not walking through the wall. So the fact that that said removed collision makes me think that there's now a wall or something or a floor that I can go through that will lead to like some secret place or something new but i i also really don't want to try walking through every single wall in the game right now uh so i'm gonna go to the hot spots first this is where the eye was i'm not gonna lie i was really confident it was gonna be right there because that low key looks like it could be a doorway um i know there's nothing behind the blue flag let me go check the red flag like those gates and then if I can't walk through any walls, like if I double check every single wall and I can't walk through them, I'm guessing, you know, when you start capturing the flags and the gates open, maybe the collision gets removed there. Yeah, I see nothing. Oh, I actually... That wasn't a glitch, right? Yes. All right, so that was the collision that was removed, was it lets you fall through the map now. Behind you. Looks like a hand. Multiple hands. Looks like a big string of code with the eye symbol in there a little bit. More handprints. More handprints. Invits, Inui, Finvit. I feel like these letters are either out of order or they just straight up don't make sense. The, this looks like that says the ARG, right? Like that could low-key be an R and a G. It's not forever. Or four is not forever. Sorry. This is nuts. This is insane. To confirm removal of file srh.cs, please enter code. Looks like a folder, a file, and then the flag. And then we got a white flag, like, in a case here. Okay, I do know that one of the files that we had, the file that we actually used to remove the mesh, uh, was labeled 12-12-87, so that's what I'm guessing it is. Or not. I typed in a bunch of numbers, every date, every number that I saw in the entire gameplay and got nothing, could not solve this code. So while I was doing research on the game, I ended up finding some comments under the itch.io page for the game, and it was from a user who put two Google Doc links to all of their research findings. Apparently at one point there was a whole discord dedicated to this game, and dedicated to solving this entire ARG. Now I couldn't find a link to this discord or anything like that to find this information myself, but they listed a ton of it in the Google Doc, and big shout out to them. If anybody does have an invite to this discord, please send me a DM because I'd love to join and just look at some more information on this game. Also, big shout out to the YouTuber Achilles because he also helped me get some information for this final step because he did have access to the discord. Now onto the information on the Google Doc. In the Google Doc, they say that they realize the amount of bullets in the gun isn't the same every time you reload. The reload ammo count follows the pattern 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 4, 1, 7, 5, 4, 9. And apparently this is actually a Belgian phone number. And when you call it, you hear this.
Now here's the thing, when I tried calling the number, it didn't go through, and I'm not sure if that's because of my phone plan or if that's because the number doesn't work anymore, but it's okay because there's another way to actually listen to this. The researchers also found out what everything on the walls mean in the dungeon room that we found at the end there, including one marking on the wall that was in braille that said Band Camp. Bandcamp is a website where you can discover music and artists. And when you go on that website and search John Mullard, an account does come up. And there's two different projects under this name, the No Players Online music soundtrack and a project called To See. And the second track, Dial Tone on To See, is the same recording of the Belgian phone call. And this is what the Morse code and all of it translates to. Per sentence, longest word, last letter, minus keyword. Something has gone wrong. Galen Village, Tranquil, quiet, one hell of a large hand, key, dog. It's a puzzle. Per sentence, find the longest word and the last letter. But for the last part of the puzzle, we need to turn each letter into a number equivalent. So for example, G would be seven because it's the seventh number in the alphabet. L is 12, E is five. And for the key, dog, D is four, O is 15, and G is seven. If you add these together, you get 26. Now for the last part, if we minus the keyword, which is dog, or 26, from these other numbers, we get 19, 14, 21. And that is the code to the computer. And here's what happens when you punch it in. Replacement soul required. Please merge with vessel to begin soul transfer. Please merge with vessel. The flag is the vessel. Does that mean if I interact with this flag, my soul is going to go into the flag or into the game, but her soul is going to go into my body? Only one way to find out. The game restarted, but now all the servers are full. Can I join one? Game by Adam Pipe. Sound by Victor Cross. Additional art by Ward Deer. Assets used. Retro Tuffix by Kelamaki. Kino Glitch. Special thanks to Modus Interactive, John Mullard, and Invit LTD, Telenet. Rock Paper Shotgun, Elaine Chen, the Chen family, and the Cross family, Samuel and Chris Pipe, Aline VDB. And you, thanks for hunting. Now, even though we got the credits, there's still one final step to this whole thing. Another thing the researchers found was back at the Bandcamp website. Under the No Players Online soundtrack, all the tracks seem normal except for the last one. 38 N O N S J. Let's listen to it.
Now, if that sounded weird, you would definitely be right. The audio can actually be turned into a spectrogram. You can kind of see what seems like a forest. But just to confirm, you can actually add the same name of that track to the end of an imager link and you get a full picture of a forest just to really lock in like this. This is a forest here. Now, apparently at this point, the researchers in the discord were struggling to solve this whole final step. And that's when the developer of the game came in and gave them a little hint, a park emoji, NF35, underscore, 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 plus underscore, underscore. And this was super helpful to the researchers to solve the final step. They went back to the Bandcamp website and found the track underscore, underscore. He kept writing numbers and letters alternately. I think he's gone mad. Number, he's group calls me cowardly. Letter, I'm scared. Number, he says he hears xylophones from the other room. Letter, plus, today he said, number, X marks the spot. Letter. It sounds very random, but the researchers used the same code from the dial puzzle and figured it out. The code ended up being 5C2X plus 4X. When you look up this whole thing on Google Maps, it brings you to Drungen Godobus. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, I'm super sorry, but it's a national forest in Belgium. And that's when one of the researchers who lived nearby decided to take a visit to this place. And he found the final piece. A letter reading, Why do you seek me and keep me feeling blue and sentimental? Yes, sentimental. With the I symbol and a bunch of numbers. The numbers at the bottom are code, and when you decrypt them, it says, Thanks for hunting. And that's pretty much it for this entire game. That's the end of the ARG. That's all you can do in the game, at least as far as I know. As far as the story goes for this game, it definitely seems like this guy lost his wife and was super, super upset about it. And in a way to try to bring her back, he tried to revive her through this game. And weirdly enough, when you find this dungeon and you solve all these puzzles to get to the dungeon and get this code, it says something about giving your soul up as a, for, as a vessel. So my guess is that maybe you give up your own body so that his wife can actually come back into the real world or maybe come back in a complete form. I'm still not even 100% sure. It's very hard to understand. I definitely got more ARG puzzles puzzle solving in this than I did actual full story. Even when you try to listen to some of the other tracks on the Bandcamp website, I just can't. It's so hard to form like a solid story here. And apparently, according to the dev, they had no idea that this was going to turn into this whole ARG thing. When they made the update giving the Konami code so that people could reset the game to get the other endings, apparently people started looking way too deep into it and that's when they had the idea to make it an ARG. And honestly, the whole adventure itself is really cool. I totally like that you end up diving into another game and solving codes that you could put back in the original game to get other things that you had no idea were there. Another problem with this whole video that I realized like 90% of the way through was that this is so hard to research because a lot of this happened years ago and some of it isn't accessible anymore because it happened years ago. For example, I don't even know if that phone number still would actually give me the Morse code thing or another thing, the email for John Muller doesn't work anymore. And that's totally understandable. Again, this was like if you were there in that moment, you got to experience it. But this was something that when I found out about it, I definitely want to dive into and make my own video on. And that's also because this still might not be over. No Players Online is actually getting a full game. Now, will it in any way connect to this or will it be a whole new storytelling from start to finish? Now the developer knows to expect some ARG type hype around it, I'm guessing. So maybe there might be a whole nother ARG behind that one, or maybe it'll all just be locked into the game. And the demo is out right now. And the demo is apparently way longer than this game ever was. So in honor of creating this video and in honor of the demo being released, I'm going to be live streaming the demo on this YouTube channel two days from now. I'll be live streaming this game Friday the 19th at 6 p.m. EST. Now, if you're watching this video and that date and time passed, no worries. You can look at the link in the description. I'll be sure to put a link so you can watch the VOD for it, even if you missed it. But I'm hoping that we could go into this game, deep dive into it, see if we can find some more secrets. Maybe something that's in the new game could somehow connect to this one. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect, but I'm definitely excited because the dev did an incredible job on this game. So I'm sure they're going to be doing an even better job at a full, full game where they know to expect people diving this deep into detail. Again, I want to say big shout out to all the researchers in the discord that made the 
these incredible Google Docs. Links to those will be in the description down below if you want to take a look at them for yourselves and get some more information on this game. And again, big shout out to the channel Achilles because without the ending to their video, I would not have been able to give you the ending to this one. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this whole thing. I definitely did. It was very interesting getting this far deep into a game. There are plenty of other games that do similar things like this or have a super deep story that I could dive into. So if you want to see more stuff like that on the channel, be sure to let me know in the comments. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.